So ladies and gentlemen, we can see here we have ourselves the counter glow. We need the maze runner badge and uh, we are going to have to go into the elude maze, which is going to be quite interesting. Shout out to all these awesome people around me right now. They've been saying what's up to me. I like the card art for this. It's got 53 power, 17 speed, and the ability is counter. So before I show you the keypad and the elude maze part of this, let me show you the best strategy to actually find a keypad. The first thing you can do is go into the default only arena and you can use the fart blast to get to the Maui Island or Maui Island down here and search for a keypad. Once you do that, reset your character, go back up to the default only, and run all the way down till you get to the Salapal Island. Once you get about here, all you have to do is just drop down to the side, hit anybody off that's here, and you can find the keypad right here. This is the default method. This is for server hopping. Now, if you're not server hopping, let me show you a different strategy that could be very well for you. You're going to come down to the wormhole glove that just got a brand new banner that looks really cool. You're going to equip this. This was a great strategy used when Elude came out. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to head over to Salapal Island. This is going to be your first teleport. Once you're up here, just go ahead and set any sort of a teleport that you want down. Okay, so we have that there. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head to the plate. Once the plate's here, you're just going to hop on and that will carry you over to Maui Island or Maui. And now that you're over at Maui, you're just going to go ahead and hop off and put down your other teleporter. So now you can swap between Salapal and you can swap between Maui and always check for a keypad. So this is a fantastic option if you feel like camping a server. The method I was using for server hopping, not just going in the default, you can actually go into the kill streak only game mode and you can find keypads in there. It's sort of flooded right now, but as time goes on, kill streak's going to be best for this because the kill streak players want to go for kill streak. They're not there for badge gloves. Another thing you can do that I saw people doing is using customs or rocks to hover one of the keypads. So you just come up here with your rock right where the pad would spawn and you just boop. Note that if you're far enough away, like say you just do it right here or something, you're going to be a distance away and anybody can peer into a rock. So keep that in mind. It's not like you're 100% going to have this keypad if you put a rock here. People can clip through with their camera and still click the buttons and hit enter. This is just a way to decrease the odds that somebody's going to be able to get you. There's a couple other things you can do in, if you're staying in the same lobby, but those are the best recommendations that I have for you to find yourself a keypad. So let's fully dive into how to get this glove. So what we're going to need to do is we're we're going to need to go to the Slapple Island or the Maui or Maui Island and there we're going to have to go find a keypad and enter in some codes. So here's a list of codes. In this list of codes there is a number as well as a number of players in the game. However many players are in the game is the code you're going to want to enter into the elude keypad. Thank you so much to casual player right there got me this. Okay. This is the first time that I've been in here. Okay, so now that we're inside the actual elude maze, here's a map of the area that we're going to be looking. Right here on the map, on the north side, like if you were running back from all the way up north, I found my lever up against the wall there. Oh, there's the lever. Okay, so it was on the back side of the north face. Okay, listen to me real quick. I know you're going to be panicked with time because you only start with 660, but look at where I started at. 338 seconds left on my clock before I even touched the timer here. So you have plenty of time to get this done. Do not overstress yourself have a clear head while you go into this trust me you got this let's do this <gasps> are you kidding me you're gonna spawn right there but that's the good thing about this next spot is it is very slow so you do have time to gather where you should go and what you should do my recommendation to you is that you try to take as many sharp turns as possible to confuse the ai tracking if you're on a straightaway you are 100 times more likely to get caught so make sure you take tight turns corners all that you can once you have the next spot actually up and running what you have to do is you have to survive for three minutes and then after that the glove will spawn in one of the quadrants north south west or east which if we take a look at our map, this is the north side, this is the south side, this is the west side, and this is the east side. Every 30 seconds, and you have to get it then. It has a shimmer to it, and you can hear it like shine like all the other objects in the elude maze. So in this run here, I actually got the pinbot stuck somewhere, so I was able to sit and wait. I got really lucky on this next part because when it spawned, I was right next to the quadrant it spawned in. I don't know when... Oop, that's the spawn sound. There it is. <gasps> it's on the other side. No, we can get there. No, it's on the other side of this wall. Come on. Come on, yes. Give me the glove. Yes, let's go. Come on, give me that badge. Where's my badge? Where's my badge? Where's my badge? You're joking. Where's my badge? I, I tell me it's equipable. <gasps> it's equipable. I didn't get... <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Just pooped a little bit. Oh, brother. Let's test this glove out real quick. Oh. <laughs> Oh, interesting. <laughs> Yo, homie went way over there. <laughs> no. 
Ooh. Oh, it has an AOE around. Oh, interesting. So I guess you have to get hit while you're in the middle of your ability. So while your character is doing the little dance, that's when you get hit. So right there, I timed it really well. <gasps> yeah, there it is. What punch? That is so cool. They went far too. <laughs> so uh, that's the ability. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, good luck on getting this glove. It took me so incredibly long to find a keypad. I think I started at, like, what is it, noon or something? It took me, like, four hours to find one keypad. That was my first keypad, and I nailed that run perfectly. I was so scared I wasn't gonna get it on the first run. <laughs> Once you survived the pinbot for three minutes total, the glove will spawn in the north, south, west, or east for 30 seconds. After that 30 seconds is up, it will poof to another quadrant, so be careful, be weary of that. Shout out to Klee right here. Got the certified fight goober tag on that's a w but ladies and gentlemen good luck getting this glove don't stress over it you got this other than that ladies and gentlemen have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you back for the counters later get it counters no okay